Yo, it's your boy Trisha's News, and I'm back at y'all with another one. Appreciate all love support. Thanks for everyone who subscribed to the channel. If you ain't subbed to the channel, make sure you do. Make sure you join that membership, man. Smash that like button so this can get around. And if you got Reddit, make sure you send it to Reddit, man. Shout out to the real mod squad. Hey, if you got anything extra, man, coats, hats, gloves, um, scarves, shoes, anything extra clothing material, man. If you got hygiene, food, bag it up, man. Take it outside and give it to somebody who less fortunate. Remember, man, we all one step away from being homeless. Y'all know that I got a series going on, and it's about what happened to a person. You know, I give my input on what happened to them, and I tell a youth a message. It's a message in it for the youth. Um, if you listen to the end, you'll know. Um, but today's series is on today of what happened. What happened to Zach TV, AMG Fresh, and T Streets. Um, everybody been requesting me to see what happened to Zach TV. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit about Zach TV that I know. I'm going to give you a little bit about AMG Fresh. And I'm going to give you a little bit about T-Streets. I don't know T-Streets or um, AMG, but, you know, just about doing a little homework. All right, okay. So, Zach TV um, was, was one of the biggest bloggers to step on YouTube. From Chicago, he's the biggest. Um... Zach, I had met Zach in like 2011, 20, 2011, 20, 2011, between 2011 and 2012. Um, Zach was, this was Zach was talking about. He finna start blogging and stuff. He was just recording Goon Town, like Rome and um, other people out there. He was just recording the hundreds um, damn there. He wasn't recording nobody from the drill scene or nothing. So when I ran into Zach again, I was on Wentworth and I seen Zach. And I remember my brother knew him, so he know my brother, my big brother. So I had told Zach that, you know, I got Duck them, and can he do an interview with them? And he was like, yeah, I see, I see. You know, he wanted to do his little homework and investigation, you know, because everybody don't mess with everybody. At by 2012, it was a split between everybody in the city. And people, people in them other areas that's outside of them blocks, they mess with people that's in um they mess with people that's like jojo real or duck so the whole city is split up into this you either on this side or you on this side um zach would go on to record everybody man step on every block even though i told him that man that's dangerous and you might man have some real problems zach but he did it and i'm proud i was proud of zach man when i came home and Zach was the man. He was the man on YouTube. He was on CNN and seeing him on all this. But I was on two Zach TVs. And Zach was running it up, man. Zach helped launch a lot of careers, man. And that's why I'm pissed about Zach, Dan, because he helped launch a lot of careers. He helped the summer everybody in the streets. Whether he helped you push your music or he let you get on his platform, he helped you. You know, Zach TV. Um, you know, a lot of people say before I get to, you know, the club and all that, um, a lot of people are always saying this Kanika Jenkins stuff. But before we get into the Kanika Jenkins, AMG Fresh is from the Owl Girl Gardens. I had just got up on his music. I ain't gonna lie to you. But he cold. He was one of the coldest people. Like, I got up into his music a couple years, like some years now. But I ain't, I wasn't up on it like everybody else. And I had told Duck. I remember I inbox Duck was like, bro, you should do a song with Fresh. You should do a song with AMG Fresh. This is like six, 15 before I went to jail or something like that. I had seen it, ran across his, one of his videos in the garden. So I'm like, damn, he should do a song with Duck. But I ain't never think nothing of it again. But he was one of the, one of the biggest rappers to come from out the hundreds. He was, he was one damn near the coldest that come out the hundreds. One of the, one of the ones that come out the hundreds, except for no cap. And a few more people. He one of the coldest, man. Um, him and T Streets. T Streets from the hundreds. All of them. The connection between all of them. All three of them from the hundreds. And all three of them from different blocks. You know, him, T Streets, and Zach TV from Goon Town. So, with that being said, the Kanika Jenkins situations. Everybody say that Zach got killed for investigating the Kanika Jenkins situation. Well... I thought about that, too. It was scary to me, you know, when I came home and Zach was on his video and this lady was talking and Zach was looking confused about who was on there talking to him. 
So, you know, that really scared me, man. And then, as it kept going on, it was like I was seeing the threats in the comments to Zach to leave it alone, to Zach, the Kanika Jenkins. Now, even though Kanika Jenkins, they saying she wasn't sexually assaulted or none of that, but they said that she walked in the freezer by herself. But Zach was the type of person, he was a journalist. He wanted to know what was going on, and that's what he did. But it'll throw you off if a situation happened, and then another situation happened, somebody find an opportunity to kill you because they think that, you know, oh, man, them dudes out west, bro, they, they are already on his heels. If we take them out, then they going to think out west did it. I had thought about that, and I say that make a lot of sense, man. So, you know what? I X'd out the Kanika Jenkins conspiracy. I just X'd that out. Yeah, Zach TV, he was on it like a, uh, he was on it like 12, 13, 14, but he was on it. He was on it, and, you know, that ain't what happened to him, okay? And it's from the streets, too. That ain't what happened to him. Okay, we're going to go, we're going to go to the night of the party. King, Chicago King Dave was having a venue, running the venue, and, you know, Zach called him and said that he wanted to break an artist. So the artist he was talking about was AMG Fresh. He was trying to help AMG Fresh get on and that. So they on the stage. They they up there. Chicago Dave let them up there. And if y'all want to see the video of Chicago Dave, he telling you this story. Um, Chicago Dave is actually the guy from Fuck Fame, too. He helped Duck Nam, Lil J Nam. He helped a lot of people, man. He even put Rico Reckless, Duck, and all them killer kills, all them back on tour together. You know, to try to get them some money. So Chicago Dave, shout out Chicago Dave. He a good dude. Um, Chicago Dave was hosting the event. And um, Zach TV called him and asked him, can he um, break an artist? You know, Zach got a platform. It'll show some spotlight on, you know, his venue and his skills, what he doing. So he could bring in more income. So Chicago Dave said, yeah. But Chicago Dave also said he wish he wouldn't have said, yeah. And Zach could have been gone. So... AMG Fresh them in the building, T Streets them in the building, and they got some ops. They got some ops in the building, a lot of ops in the building. Now, they on stage performing. Now, it was supposed to be some words, AMG, Bell, um, Bell D, or whatever his name, AMG, yeah, AMG, Bell D. And um, he, he, was on, he was on DJU, and he was explaining the story about that the guys had approached Zach. The guys, and come to find out, it was the guys who got arrested for his murder. They approached Zach, and they basically told Zach that we want fresh. They want fresh in T Streets. They was out the fresh in T Streets. And they told Zach he ain't got nothing to do with it. But by them being Zach homies and Zach feeling like them his homies and shit, Zach played it off, didn't say nothing inside there. He kept recording he kept recording the um the the on the stage, kept on recording Fresh and T Streets perform, and then when they got out, when they got outside, that's when he had told them what's up. He told Fresh and he told um T Streets about what dude them said. So T Streets and and um AMG Fresh Bell, they was in that car when Zach got killed. They was in that car. If you look at the video. If you go back and look at the video with them on the stage and you go back and look at the video with them hopping out the car and leaving Zach car crashed and hopping into another car, you will see them with another car trailing them. So they was in a car with Zach and they just hopped out and just left Zach like that. They just hopped out. So that's where the conspiracy of, you know, T Streets back those Zach TV. But whole time. It was already beef in the air. Them bullets weren't for Zach. Them bullets was for Zach having them in a car after Zach was warned about having, you know, T Streets and, and, and um AMG fresh. They ops. So they came at them. So um, so they had they Zach, they sprayed up Zach car. Zach got shot in the head. They sprayed his car up. His car was sprayed with, with bullets. And um yeah, that's how AMG Fresh and people think that AMG Fresh got killed behind Zach TV. It could be, man. A lot of people love Zach. And the way the way 
that the crime scene happened and nobody wanted to tell a story. If somebody got to put a story together, then they could put whatever the story they want to together. And that's what it leaded to. AMG Fresh and T Streets. People made it known that they was telling T Streets that he backed those Zach TV because he was saying that he said he made a post saying that I know Zach know I ain't back doing. So that's all that matters from T Streets. I know you want me to keep going on and that's what he going to do. But let me read the report, y'all, for y'all. A Chicago journalist was killed, but no one was prosecuted. Court docs show the case may have been solved. Independent journalist Zach Stoner was fatally shot on May 30th, 2018 in Chicago. Court records show um, that despite the arrest of five suspects in 2018 and 2019, no one has been prosecuted. The prosecutor's office said Monday the evidence was insufficient to file charges and police agreed. While the 2018, while the 2018 killing of the independent Chicago reporter seemed destined to go unsolved, police records show investigators may have solved his homicide years ago when they arrested members of a Southside Chicago Perry Avenue gang. The documents obtained by the Associated Press revealed that in 2019, prosecutors declined to prosecute and, um, and police were forced to release the suspects. Zachary Stoner, or Zach TV, was attacked on a downtown Chicago street lined with surveillance cameras. He who drew a national YouTube following, fouling a media niche with up-close stories about the lives and deaths of gang members and affiliate rappers from places other reporters were afraid to go. Police never announced arrests in his shooting, but say the Cook County State's Attorney's Office cited the possibility that the two sides in the shooting on May 30th, 2018, were mutual, mutual combatants, a dispute legally legal concept that's a throwback to duels between nobles and prearranged gunfights in the Wild West. That prosecutors passed on charges on those ground raises questions about whether Chicago gangs can literally get away with murder when it's unclear who initiated the shooting and who returned fighting in self-defense. The case and arrest reports obtained in the opening request um, offer previously, previously unreported details about what may have um, what may have happened in Stoner's killing after he left the crowded Clark Street Refuge um, bar, relying on video eyewitnesses, cell phone location data, and ballistics on a bullet removed from the 30-year-old's brain. Police arrested five suspects aged 22 ages 19 to 22 in 2018 and in 2019 on probable cause of first degree murder. Prosecutors also cited inconsistent witness, which is T Streets, as a reason not to prosecute. Two of the suspects have since been killed. Another identified by a witness told police, I didn't pull the trigger. So that's what happened in, in Zach Stone um, case. Mutual combat is like when a person um, agree to meet up and, 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 and shoot, I guess. That's what they saying. High blood mutually fight upon equal terms. Some courts only allow defendants to argue mutual com combat at sentencing and bids for leniency. So basically they saying that they agree. They agree to meet up, basically. That's what the state's attorney saying. They agreed to meet up to have a shootout. So that means somebody returned fire from Zach TV cop. That's what they saying. But we ain't see that in the footage. We only seen lights coming from that one car. It was another car following behind Zach them. They jumped out that car and, and they got low. So they never, they said they could T-Streets called Zach them uh, people though. I don't know how true it is and told them that Zach was dead. But um, at Zach funeral, at Zach, uh, at Zach funeral, um, before Zach Fennerell, T Streets was going to police station and he didn't want to go to 51st. He looked like he was scared on there, like he was going to die. They asked him, why didn't he go to 51st? So he went to the police station downtown, like on 17th and State or something. And he went in there and told them that these guys, these the guys they was in tour with, the Perry boys. And that's how the Perry boys ended up getting grabbed. But when they grabbed T Streets again, T Streets say he don't know nothing about it. But when they grabbed him a couple of days later. Before Zach got killed. T Streets was actually gunned down before hours before Zach TV funeral. He was gunned down 
You know, he was in the car with him, man. The picture's worth a thousand words, man. Whether he did it or not, hey, it looked like it, man. It looked like it, how they hopped out the car and they just bailed out, man. A real friend with a stage that was Zach TV, y'all already shot at. You know what I'm saying? Y'all shot at. It's over with. All you got to do is say ain't nobody. You don't know who did it. But they left. They, they abandoned Zach TV and got low. So the family might feel like they did it. We seen Zach TV mama come out and say something about it that T Street set up her son and AMG Bell. But the whole thing is, I just think they I just think that the same guys who when Zach them pulled off with AMG Bell and T Streets, same guys followed them. And they sprayed down with Zach TV car because Zach TV failed to um, you know, stay out of it. They wanted them. They already um, stopped it and then crashed the stage because Zach TV and then you let them in your car and then you tell them. So now you told them they planned. So now they got to attack. And I believe that's what happened. I strongly believe that these five guys who got grabbed, I strongly believe that they probably did it. But they, they had told them that, you know, they challenged us to a duel. You know, they probably show text messages of them saying that they going to kill them when they catch them and all that. You know, you never know. Um, but T Streets was gunned down, and then AMG Fresh was gunned down in Indiana. But T Streets was gunned down um, right before Zach TV funeral, hours before, and then AMG Fresh was the only one alive. And you know he was going through all the scrutiny of that. He set up um, Zach TV and all that. I don't think T Streets or I don't think AMG Bell set up Zach TV. I think Zach TV was killed by the same people who warned him to stay away from these guys. And he tipped them off, and they seen it. And, you know, that's how Chicago is, bro. If we try to tell you to stay back and you with them, we got to get weed. That's the chance to attack. They followed them, and they sprayed his car down. We seen the footage of AMG Bell and the T-Streets hopping out, so they ain't, they, they ain't even no dispute if they was there. We know they was there because T-Streets had went to the police station. And it's, it's public record, and it's... um. It's paperwork out there, so if y'all want to go and find it, y'all can go and find it. But yeah, um, that's what I think that happened to Zach TV. I don't think nothing about the Kanika Jenkins. Um, I don't think that T Streets or um, MG Fresh set them up. I think they all died, man. I think all I think Zach died because of he told them and he still let them in this car after the fact when they told Zach what was going on, you know. But Zach TV didn't deserve to die. And um, Zach, he he was a fun person, bro. Like he was a fun person, always busting jokes, laughing. You seen him with Duck busting jokes. You know, almost everybody he interviewed, they dead and gone. You know, when you look at his footage, all of them almost dead and gone, man. Like all of them. Um, but Zach TV will go down as the goat of YouTube. You know what I'm saying? He will go down as the goat. He did what other people didn't do. He went to places that other people wouldn't go. He even started going on like um, backstage um, passes to everywhere. Like he was everywhere, man. BT. Um, he was doing it all, man. He was just doing it all. Sad that he lost his life behind something that was so, you know, ain't had nothing to do with him. But that's a message to the youth that, you know what I'm saying? Like anybody could die, bro. Anybody could die. You might want to stay out of the lane. That's why you don't want to be associated to nothing negative. Because once you associate and it's attached to your name, that you got somebody who 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 somebody looking for and you on the picture with them, you just as guilty as them because they figured out like, man, we look for this nigga, but he hanging with them, you know. But Zach, I appreciate you, you know, doing me that favor, man, putting Doug them on, putting um all them on, you know. I did a Zach TV in my crib and I did a Zach TV in the other house. But yeah, I appreciate me and Zach. He was a real dude, man, you know. Um, you and Duck used to always get in, get into little, little, um, joke matches and roasting, man. You know, it used to be funny, but yeah, man, he lost his life, man, for that. But y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think. I'll be back at y'all with a live tonight. I'll be dropping more content tomorrow, man. Take kids, they minus day nine. Hey, look, you, you, to the youth. No 401k playing in the streets. You ain't gonna get rich in the streets or none of that. You go to jail, they gonna be... Hitting your girl, get your girl pregnant. If you die, they're going to do the same. They ain't going to send you no money in jail, only freeze. That's the only thing they know is free. Why they say free? Because it's free. So tell your kids that, man. They mind as they nine, man. They could be anything they want to be. Go and get you a trade. Go and get you some credit. Go and do things like that, man. 
you know. And if you do, however, get an opportunity to make it out, man, stay out. Stay away from shit that's going to put you back in or put you in prison or a uh, bad ad- predicament. Shout out to the whole mod squad, man. Um, make sure you go and follow their page too, man. And if you got anything extra, man, that you can give away, man, take it outside and give it to the people who need it. That's fortunate, man. This Trisha News. I'm out!